there, Rain Sensei here. This video is a recap of my 3D modeling series parts 9 to 11, covering adding texture to your model. If you have an attention span of less than 10 minutes, and or are very used to Blender, you'll find use in this overview. Otherwise, you'll find the full length longer videos on my channel with minimal edits. Alright, you like the look of your model in its 3D form? Great, let's flatten it out into 2D atrocities. You need to add scenes by selecting an edge with Alt, and then whatever your select click is. I use right click, yours will be left click if you haven't messed with the Blender default settings. Let's select behind the ear with Alt click. Control E to bring up this menu, then mark seam. The edge will turn red. This spot around the eyes, Alt click, Control E, mark seam. Same here in the mouth, mark seam, and here on the head, mark seam. Great. Apply the subdivision modifiers on the eyebrows and eyelashes. Apply the mirror first on the tongue, apply the subdivision, delete half the mesh, add the mirror modifier back with clipping, and then add a seam here. Moving on to the body, mark seams here and here in an underwear shape. Add little ankle bumps if you want to I guess, rip vertices with Alt V, add seams around the foot here, the outer side of the body, down the inner leg, and here on the ankle. Continue the seam down the underside of the arm and around the wrist. Separate the very, very bottom of the foot with a seam that looks like this, and get rid of the seam here by carefully selecting the line with shift clicking, Control E, then clear seam. Put seams around the toenails and fingernails, you should be able to select a loop with Alt click. Also, while you're at it, might as well make sure your toenails don't look super funky. Separate the palm of the hand with a- oh wait, this line has a random jacket part here. Simply merge it with shift click, select, and M. Nice straight line. Time to mark a seam that looks like this. Great. If your Blender document isn't already in a folder titled Rain Sensei is Super Cool, get your butt on that, because we're saving everything in the same folder. Go to the UV Editing tab, click on Image, New, Make New Image with 5080 pixels in width and height. Hit OK. Go to Image, Save As, and save it in the same folder as your black Blender document. I recommend you save it as skin or base or something along those lines. We'll add a texture in the moment. Put your mouse cursor over the model. Hit A to select all the vertices on the head. They will be orange. Press U, then unwrap. It should look like this. Scale it so it will take up about this much of the image. Hover your mouse over these parts. Hit L to select linked and G to grab. Drag them out of the way. Go back into the layout tab and apply the mirror on the head. Back to UV editing tab, select these areas and hit H to hide. Go to the mesh and reselect the edges around the eyes and mouth since they will be deselected now. Press U, then unwrap. Straighten out these unwrap parts with R to rotate and arrange them like so. Go back to layout mode, edit mode, delete half the mesh and add the mirror modifier back. Go to the UV editing tab, only half the unwrap face should be there now. This will make your texture paint perfectly symmetrical. Neaten up this arrangement, then go to the Texture Paint tab. Open your file, select the skin tone of your choice, and outline these shapes, going over the outer lines. Use the white colour for this shape, the eyeball, and a pinky colour for this shape. Click on the image, then save. You will now need to save your Texture Paint image and model separately. So remember to do both, otherwise you're getting sent out with two buckets of water to hold. <laughs> Back to layout mode. Select your head and go down the menu on the right until you get to material properties. Here. Click it, then add new. Double click to rename the material here. Name it something related to skin or base. Make sure you have it selected, then go to the shading tab. Click on principle BDSF. Delete it. Go into the folder where you saved the texture image we just made, drag and drop it into this grid area. Click on the yellow dot by colour here, drag it into material output surface here, and bam, it should show up on the head. Back to layout, select the body, then UV editing tab. Remember to remove this little line here with shift select, control E and clear seam. It'll make for much better underwear UVs. Back to layout, go here and apply the mirror modifier. UV editing, U, unwrap. Edit mode, or modeling if you'd like. Delete half the mesh and add a mirror modifier. Back to UV editing. Lasso select and adjust the underwear part so it is a bit more neater and clean up the placement of the unwrapped UV so it looks like this. Go to texture paint tab and outline and color the shapes of the unwrapped meshes. Select everything with A, control and lasso the fingernails so they are excluded from the selection. 
Hide with H and reselect the edges of the nails. Adjust the camera so they are pointing straight at the toenails. Press U with the, c with the cursor on the right side of the screen, then press project from view. Deselect the toenails with control and do the same with the fingernails and the thumbnail. Resize and clean up the UV unwrap so it looks like this. Unwrap the eyebrows, eyelashes, teeth and tongue and colour in the positions with the appropriate colour. Click on the head, go to UV editing and make sure it's selected. Then go to texture paint tab and colour like I describe. Select the reddish colour with the strength settings turned down. Add blush and lip colour, keeping most of the colour and thickness in the centre of the lips. Add a reddish brown line to the centre of the lips and this corner area of the eye. Add some red tinted shadows under the nose and lips and smear and blur them into a better shape. Put the same colour around the face and under the chin and behind the ear. Draw the nostrils softly. Add some light yellow highlights to the tip of the nose, the corner of the eyes, above the top lip and in the middle of the bottom lip. Cheek highlight is optional. Save and blur in your preferred program. Optional. Adjust the colour of the skin with critter or, bl or brushes with different blending modes. Go to layout mode. Click on the body. Check if everything is selected in UV editing mode then back to texture paint mode. Select the colour you use to shade around the head and put this on the top half of the neck. Use it for under the chest, armpit, sides, belly, collarbone and blur it in your preferred way. Paint under the arms, make a triangle shape for the elbow and a H shape for the knees. Blur it. Paint the inner and outer parts of the leg, above the calf and under the butt. Save the document and open it in a new program like Critter so you can blur and soften some of the harsher colour shifts. This will be a lot faster than the smear and blur tools in Blender. And make sure there aren't any hard edges here and add some reds to the shadows with a low strength brush. Add some shadows to the pantsu in these areas and blur it. Colour your eyes in your favourite style or you can copy how I do it here. Add some highlights, adjust the position of the UV mesh if you need to. Colour the eyelashes and eyebrows as you wish. For the ear, get a reference and good luck. I just say keep it soft with subtle outlines and add some red to the shading. For the hands, colour the entire bottom half in the shadow colour, outline the top half, blur the transition, add back the skin colour in these areas and give the hand some shape. Blur it, clean up the half harsh edges, lighten it and blend that wrist shade into the rest of the arm. Start off the same way with the feet, but add additional shading around the ankle, under the bump thingies and down the sides, continuing on from the leg sh shading. Blur it and lighten the foot area. Add some lighter colour in the fatty areas of the foot, blur and clean up any harsh edges. Put a darker shade around the edges of the nails, lighter colour on the tip and blur. Adjust the final colours if you like. For the tongue, add a darker colour to the underneath and the edge of the top. Add that same darker colour down the middle. A bit of highlight here, blur, clean up. Add a blue grey around the edge of the teeth and blur. Make sure to post your work in the comment section below. I hope you found the video useful. Farewell!